Hey everybody, this is Keegan here and welcome to my channel and I'm back with my first collection update video for this channel and today it is Monday, December 2nd, 2019 and on Wednesday, almost a week ago, I went to Sunrise Records at the Premium Outlet Mall in Leduc and at the store I bought six Blu-rays now before we get started, I previously showed these Blu-rays on my old channel before it got deleted. So if you were on my old channel, you might have already seen these Blu-rays in that video. So I'm going to be showing them again in this video for my first collection update video on this channel. So yeah. So anyways, without further ado, let's get on with the update. And the first Blu-ray we have here is... The 2008 Blu-ray release of Gangs of New York. This is a 2002 movie with Leonardo DiCaprio, Daniel Day-Lewis, and Cameron Diaz. And it was nominated for 10 Academy Awards, including Best Picture. The Best Picture of the Year, says the Chicago Sun-Times and the Rolling Stones. America was born in the streets. And it's a Martin Scorsese picture, which Martin Scorsese is one of my all-time favorite movie directors. And speaking of Martin Scorsese, I recently checked out his new movie that came out on Netflix a few days ago called The Irishman, and I thought it was amazing. I'll probably do my review of it maybe this week on Friday for my first movie review on this channel. So yeah, anyways, here's the front, spine, and the back. Over 135 top critics agree, one of the year's best pictures. And it also stars Jim Broadbent, John C. Riley, Henry Thomas, and Brennan Gleeson. And special features includes costume design featurette, set design featurette, history of the five points, exploring the sets of Gangs of New York, YouTube music video, The Hands That Built America, Discovery Channel special, Uncovering the Real Gangs of New York, Audio commentary with director Martin Scorsese, theatrical trailer, and teaser trailer, and those are all the special features. And this is a Miramax Films movie, but this Blu-ray was released by Alliance. Anyways, this is rated 18A, and the running time is 2 hours and 46 minutes, or 166 minutes, so it's a pretty long movie. Not as long as, his, as Martin Scorsese's new movie. And here's the disc. And as you can tell, this is a E1 reprint on the uh, on the bottom from 2013. And I haven't checked this movie out yet, but I hear nothing but great things about this movie. And Martin Scorsese is one of my favorite movie directors, like I said before. So I'll give this a watch whenever I have the chance to sit down and watch it. But anyways, that's Gangs in New York. And the next Blu-ray we have here is... The 2019 Blu-ray release of Audition. This is a 1999 movie directed by Takashi Mikes. And this is a Japanese movie, but with English subtitles. And this is my first Arrow Video Blu-ray release that I bought, as you can tell. It's right here. It says Arrow Video. And this is my first Arrow Video Blu-ray I ever bought. I got this for like 36 bucks, And I thought it was a not a bad deal. So, uh, yeah, anyways, here's the front, spine, and the back, and some of the cast names are going to be a little hard for me to pronounce, so just bear with me on this, and this movie stars Ryo Ishibashi, Ihai Shina, Tetsu Sawaka, Sawaki, I don't know how you pronounce the last name, Miyuki Matez, Matezuda, Renji Ishibashi, and June Kunimara. Anyway, special features includes brand new 2K restorations of the original Vault Elements, original 5.1 DTS HD Master Audio, optional English subtitles, audio commentary with director Takashi Mike and screenwriter Daisy. Dezuk Tengen. Brand new audio commentary with by Mike 
biographer Tom Mess examining the film and its source novel. Introduction by Mike, ties that bind a brand new interview with Takashi Mike. Interviews with stars Ryo Ishibashi, Ihai Shina, Renje Ishibashi, and Ren Ozagui. Damage Romance, an appreciation by Japanese cinema historian Tony Raines. Trailers and Reversible Sleeve featuring original and newly commissioned artwork by Matthew Griffin, which is this cover right here. I'll show you the other cover when I open up the case. And those are all the special features. And like I said, this movie is in Japanese, but with English subtitles, like I said before. Anyways, this is not rated, and the running time is 115 minutes. And here's the disc. And here's what the other uh, cover looks like. And I believe this cover is the original theatrical artwork when this movie came out back in 1999. Oh, hold on a sec. The hell? Oh, there we go. Got it. And I hear nothing but pretty good things about this movie, although I hear that this is considered to be one of the most disturbing movies of all time. But I'll give this movie a watch someday, and I'll give you my opinion on it in a movie review. Anyways, that's Audition. And the next one we have here is... The 2018 Blu-ray release of Candyman. This is the collector's edition. And this is a 1992 movie. And this is a Screen Factory release, by the way, as you can tell on the, uh, excuse me, by the spine. And this is my second Screen Factory Blu-ray release that I own. The first one being Escape from New York, which I have the steelbook for that on Blu-ray. We dare you to say his name five times. Spine, the other spine, and the back. An effectively eerie psychological chiller, says Leonard Malton, whoever that is supposed to be. And, and it stars Virginia Madison, Tony Todd, Xander Berkeley, and Cassie Lemons. And there's a lot of special features here, so this is going to take... A little bit so yeah special features on disc one includes the theatrical cut new 2k restoration from a 4k scan of the original negative supervised and approved by writer director bernard rose and director of photography anthony b richmond new audio commentary with bernard rose and actor tony todd audio commentary with produ with authors stephen jones and kim newman Audio commentary with Bernard Rose, uh, author Clive Barker, producer Anthony, I mean, Alan, Alan Pohl, and actors Tony Todd, Virginia Madison, and Cassie Lemons. Sweets to the Sweet, The Candyman Mythos, Clive Barker, Raising Hells, Bernard Rose's Storyboards, Theatrical Trailers, TV Spots, and Still Galleries. And special features on disc 2 includes the unrated cut, new 2K restorations from a 4K scan of the original negative, with unrated HD inserts from a rare print, Be My Victim, an interview with Tony Todd, It Was Always You, Helen, an, inter an interview with Virginia Madison, The Writing on the Wall, The Production Design of Candyman, and an, an interview with Production Designer... Jane and Stewart, Forbidden Flesh, the makeup effects of Candyman, including interviews with special makeup effects artists Bob Keen, Gary J, Tanisha Cliff, I believe that's how you pronounce his last name, and Mark Kohler, A Story to Tell, Clive Barker's for The Forbidden, writer Douglas E. Winter on Clive Barker's seminal Book of Blood, a Candyman's source story, The Forbidden, Urban Legend, Unwrapping Candyman, and more. And those are all the special features. That's quite a bit of special features if you ask me. And this was originally a TriStar Pictures movie.
but it looks like Universal now holds the rights to this movie. And it's co-produced with Polly Graham. And the theatrical cut is rated R for violence and gore, and the unrated version is not rated, and the running time is 99 minutes. And it's also 99 minutes for the unrated cut. And here's what it looks like when you take off the slip cover. Here's disc one with the theatrical cut, and disc two with the unrated cut. And if you take off the disc, it shows the alternate artwork. You could flip the sleeve over. And that's the original theatrical poster when this movie came out back in 1992. Oh, hold on. There we go. I'm going to put the slip cover back on, so I'm just going to pause here for a second. There we go. And I watched this movie before on AMC a couple years ago, and I remember this movie being pretty good. It's a pretty crazy movie too, but I enjoy it. It's a really underrated horror movie in my opinion from the 1990s. And I know there are two sequels to this movie called Candyman Farewell to the Flesh and Candyman 3 Day of the Dead, but they don't have Blu-ray releases as far as I know. But anyways, that's Candyman. The next one is a steelbook. And it is the 2016 Blu-ray release of Top Gun. This is the 30th anniversary edition. And it's a 1986 movie with Tom Cruise. Anyways, here's the front. Spine. And the back. And here's the paper that was on the back. Still a dazzling experience is... Brian Her Henry Martin of UTV. And it also stars Kelly McGill's, McGill's, Anthony Edwards, Meg Ryan, Tim Robbins, Val Kilmer, and Tom Ske Skirt. Skirit, I think that's how you pronounce his last name. And special features includes commentary by producer Jerry Bruckheimer, director Tony Scott, co-screenwriter Jack Epps Jr., and naval expert. Danger Zone, the making of Top Gun, multi-angle storyboards with optional commentary with by director Tony Scott. Best of the best inside the real Top Gun. Four music videos, TV spots, behind-the-scenes featurette. Surviving training featurette, I mean survival training featurette, and Tom Cruise interviews, and those are all the special features. Rated PG, and the running time is 109 minutes, and I'm going to open up the uh, steelbook. Here's, this, here's the disc with the, the Blu-ray, and behind is the, uh, the disc for the, with the DVD. And the discs both stay there from 2008, so this is a re-release. I gotta take this out. There we go. And here's what it looks like when you uh, move the, remove the disc and the paper that I'm going to show you. And here's the ultraviolet code, which this already expired on May 3rd, 2018. And I know that the ultraviolet company or whatever it's called shut it down. So this code is basically useless. And on the back it says more thrilling action from Paramount. Which includes the Mission Impossible 5 collection box set. Which comes with the first five Mission Impossible movies. Minority Report and War of the Worlds. The remake that Steven Spielberg directed. And I'm just going to put the disc back. Here we go. And I think I might have seen this movie before a long time ago, but I actually can't remember if I've seen it or not. And I know there's a sequel to this movie called Top Gun Maverick, I believe is what it's called. It's supposed to be coming out in March next year, so I might check it out when it comes out. But anyways, that's Top Gun, the 30th anniversary edition. And the last two movies are Christmas movies. Since Christmas is around the corner, I figured why not I get them. So the next Blu-ray we have here is the 2008 Blu-ray release 
of Bad Santa. This is the unrated version and the director's cut version. This is a 2003 movie with Billy Bob Thornton, Lauren Graham, with the late John Ritter, and the late Bernie Mac. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe this was John Ritter's final movie he was in, and then he passed away. Although I think this came out after he passed away the same year, 2003. So, uh, yeah, anyways, here's the front, spine, and the back. Hilariously nasty, says the People magazine, and funny as hell, says Washington Post. And it also stars Tony Cox, Brett, Brett Kelly, and Lauren Tom. And special features includes commentary by director Terry Zwingoff. And editor Robert Hoffman for the director's cut. Interview with director Terry Zwingoff and editor Robert Hoffman by Roger Ebert. Behind the scenes special. Batter Santa gag reel outtakes and deleted and alternate scenes. And those are all the special features. And this is a Dimension Films movie. But this Blu-ray was released by Alliance. Rated 18A for coarse language and sexual content. And the running time for the unrated version is an hour and 38 minutes or 98 minutes. And the running time for the director's cut version is an, an hour and 28 minutes or 88 minutes. Oh shoot. There we go. And here's the disc. And I've seen this movie twice. The last time I watched it was on Netflix last year with my brother. And this movie is hilarious. It's one of my favorite Christmas movies. And I know there's a sequel to this movie called Bad Santa 2 that came out in 2016. Although I haven't checked it out though. However, I hear it, it, it isn't as good as the first one. Well, I'm sure I'll check it out someday. And the last Blu-ray we have here... On the disc, it says it's from 2015, but on the back, it says it's from 2018. So this is a 2018 re-release. And that's the 2018 Blu-ray release of Home Alone. This is a 1990 movie from John Hughes. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, here's the front. Spine. And the back. The greatest holiday family film ever. But it doesn't say who says that. It just says that on the back. And it stars Macaulay Culkin, Joe Pesci, Daniel Stern, the late John Hurd, and Catherine O'Hara. And special features includes feature audio commentary by director Chris Columbus and Macaulay Culkin. The making of Home Alone. Man Cam, behind the scenes with Macaulay Culkin. How to burglar proof your house, I mean your home. The Stunts of Home Alone, Home Alone Around the World, Where's the Buzz Now, Angels with Filthy Souls, Deleted Scenes, Alternate Taste, Blooper Reel, and 1990 Press Featurette, and those are all the uh, special features. And this is a 20th Century Fox movie, and it's co-produced with John Hughes Productions, except that logo is not shown until the end of the movie from what I remember. Anyways, this is rated G, and the running time is 103 minutes. And here's the disc with the Blu-ray. And here's the disc with the DVD. And if anyone wants to enter this digital code, you can, because I'm not even going to use it. So go right ahead if you want to enter it. I'm never going to use it. If you enter the code, let me know in the comments below. And this code may not be valid after 2022. Well, it says, and Home Alone, in my opinion, is a classic. I loved this movie when I was younger, and I still love it to this day. Although, it's been a couple years since I last watched this movie, so I'm definitely going to give this a watch sometime soon, since it's around Christmas. And I actually used to own this movie on DVD, but I lost it a long time ago. And I'll definitely get Home Alone 2 on Blu-ray, because Home Alone 2 is a great sequel, surprisingly. Home Alone 3 is okay, I guess. I haven't seen Home Alone 4 or 5, but I'm avoiding those. Definitely avoiding them. 
And anyways, that's Home Alone. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like. Please leave a comment below. Subscribe for more videos like this. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you guys have a great day. And until next time, this is Keegan Shepard si signing off. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.